Welcome to the D2D Show podcast. D2D Show is a great new portal we're launching where you can go to get information about digital video and its applications presented in an informative and entertaining manner. The portal will consist of the D2D Show podcast where I'll be interviewing industry experts and getting their thoughts on the latest topics and trends while also getting a glimpse into the person behind the thoughts. We'll also have a resource section where we'll have links to all the great content we cover in the podcast along with white papers, articles, anything we find which we think would be useful to the industry. And finally, we'll have a section on fun stuff. Uh, here at D2D, we take very seriously our role in helping our customers achieve their goals and dreams. But at the same time, we love what we do and we have a lot of fun doing it. And we really want to share that fun spirit with everyone, uh, not just the fun things we do here at D2D, but anything we come across which is funny or entertaining and we think is appropriate for the industry. And it's in that fun spirit that this first interview came about. Uh, recently, John and I were out at CES. We got together with Craig Caples of Caples Productions. He's a longtime friend and, and customer. And we went to lunch with Craig and he had us laughing all afternoon long with all his hilarious stories and adventures. And we we're having such a great time. John and I decided right there on the spot to ask Craig if he'd be willing to let us interview him. And thankfully, Craig was gracious enough to say yes. And with no prep, no retakes, Craig delivered a great interview. And here's my interview with Craig Caples. I'm out here at CES 2024 talking with longtime friend Craig Caples of Caples Productions. How are you doing, Craig? I'm doing well. Yes, we'd like to talk to you a little about your experience being a television owner and operator. So, how did you get into the business? Well, uh, it was uh, rather unique and different. I was on a ski lift in Mammoth Mountain, California, going up with what is now my business partner, and we got a, uh, a strange phone call from somebody that said, hey, you want to own a TV station in Park City, Utah? And I said, hmm, how much? And yeah, tell me a little bit more about it, which we did. And uh, so ultimately, uh, we had this grandiose uh, idea that, yeah, we'd buy a TV station, we would figure out how to trade out airlines tickets from Las Vegas to Salt Lake, we'd have uh, trade out uh, uh, lift tickets, trade out ski gear, and we just go up there and have this TV station generating so much money that all we could ever do is go skiing and have a great time. That sounds like a great idea. Like, it was a great idea. It didn't exactly work out that way, but we did get the station on the air, and all of a sudden, uh, well, that not exactly that way, but I mean, there were a couple of little, little hitches in the giddy up. Like, uh, we bought the station, and uh, uh, I think it was uh, two months later, there was an NAB show, and I found out, uh, well, uh, guess what? You have to have it on the air by. Uh, by the end of April, otherwise you lose the license. The guy that sold us didn't bother to tell us that. So all of a sudden, here we are making these uh, runs up the thing. Oh, by the way, we didn't have a transmitter with the sale. So all of a sudden, he sold us the transmitter that was supposed to come with it, but didn't come with it. And uh, I ended up uh, assembling the station and putting it, um, I don't know, is the statute of limitations over because it was a little uh, a little iffy the way we put the whole thing together. It ended up being in a guy named uh, Fabulous Phil's house. The transmitter was in basement, and our panels were on his patio cover. And uh, it, exa it didn't exactly cover uh, Park City at the time. But we were legal. We were on the air. And uh, there we had that. That's great. And after going through all that, getting on the air, what's been the most enjoyable, best part about being a broadcaster? Well, I haven't gotten there yet. I think it's going to be when I sell the station. But, uh, you know, no, no we, we, we've had some re, uh, very uh, unique experiences. Our uh, transmitter site is about 86, 8,700 feet uh, above sea level. It takes a, uh, uh, we have to ride a couple of llamas and, a, and a, uh, a, a jackass to get up to the top of the mountain. Uh, and uh, but I, I have to admit when when we when we flipped the switch on the transmitter the first time and uh, you know I it was ready to go the whole thing the engineer says says uh, he says well we're ready to go I said well flip the switch he says no you flip the switch you you own it 
If it burns up, it's still all yours. Anyway, it, it, it you know, it, it fired up, everything was wonderful, and uh, uh, we, you know, took a picture of uh, color bars, tones, call letters, and sent it to the FCC and said, we're alive. Uh, that's great, and so what's next for you? Uh, well, I, you know, I think what's gonna happen now is that we're gonna try to uh, get involved with D2T on this uh, ad insertion program. That's our next thing, our big hope. And uh, we have not nine streams going right now, and uh, I think we're gonna probably put uh, four or five uh, ad insertion streams on with the uh, digit programs that we have with our, uh, you know, with the, uh, the programs that we currently have. That's great. And we're really looking forward to doing a lot of work with you with ad insertion and really like to thank you for your time. Both John and I have really enjoyed having lunch with you, listening to all your great stories and really looking forward to having you in the booth again here at NAB, listening to all your more stories, always keep us entertained during the slow periods. Uh, so it's great catching up with you, Craig. Yeah, well, and, and let me let me point out something. Steve, you have been a, a huge help to us. I literally have been on the top of the mountain at our tower site and called him and he has walked us through so many different kind of things. There were no sparks or fires involved at that time. We've had some since, but not with any D2T equipment. And it was, you know, uh, some of my, what, what do they call it, uh, archival equipment maybe? I don't know, anyway. But, you know, I've got to say thank you very much for, uh, for all the times that you helped us out. You're still helping us out and uh, uh, the low power TV industry owes you a great uh, debt. I know that you sponsor different events all the time and uh, thank you very much on behalf of not only KPDR TV Salt Lake City Channel 19 but also uh, for the entire low power industry. Well, we really appreciate that Craig and we really enjoy supporting the low power industry. That's a very close to our heart and uh, something we really enjoy doing. Once again, look forward to seeing you at NAB here in a few months and have For a great sure. rest of the day. You bet. I hope you enjoyed my conversation with Craig Cables. One of the best things my over 20 years experience in the industry is all the wonderful and interesting people I've met along the way. And Craig is definitely one of those. I'd also like to thank him for his kind words on behalf of the LPTV industry. Here at D2D, we're big supporters of LPTV. In fact, if it wasn't for LPTV, there may not be a D2D today. In the early days, LPTV was our only market and it was their support which got us through those first few years. If you'd like to learn more about Craig and his company Cables Productions, if you go to our website at d2d.show, there'll be an episode page. We'll have a link to Craig's contact information, information about his station KPDR, Channel 19 in Salt Lake City, and also a link to his YouTube channel, Travel Adventures with Marilyn and Craig. Craig has done a great job documenting the world travels, anywhere from clifftop monasteries in Meteora, Greece, to helicopter rides over Victoria Falls in Africa. He's made great entertaining videos, so if you're looking to decide where to go for your next vacation, what to do when you get there, I highly recommend you check it out. And I look forward to chatting with you on the next episode of D2D Show Podcast.